Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by my channel. If this is your first time, welcome. If it's not, thank you for coming back. My name is Barbara. I'm coming to you today with a quick video. I like coming with quick videos. I don't like long dragged out videos. It, it That's something that um, kind of bore me. I like to get straight to the point. I mean, if you can, some of them I know gotta be um, long. You know, and I try to make sure I really explain everything in detail, but not make it long, if that makes sense. So if this is something you want to uh, watch me do, just stay tuned. I'll be doing the graduation fan. This is my first time. My sec I made one. I just learned it yesterday in an hour, and then I posted, and someone wanted me to um, make a video on how I did it. I'm not real good at video, so if anyone could leave a comment to let me know how to make my screen wider when I'm doing my video, please do. Or give me some kind of advice on trying to improve my video when I'm making my videos because I really need help because I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. One second. This is a transparent um, background or whatever, whenever you see the, the white and gray. So you want to save it. But I'm not going to save it because I already did. But you're going to save it. I'm just, and if you got business edition, you could just hit copy and go back to silhouette and hit paste. And there it is. But if you save it, you know you go back to your file and hit um, merge. Hit merge. So you can bring it into what you're working in. And you just find it. Okay. And bring it in. Don't hit open. Go to file and hit merge. Okay. Now what we want to do, we're going to trace and detach this right here. What we're going to trace and the first thing we're going to do, we're going to trace outer edge. So you're going to hit the little toast thing um, to your right. It's to the right of me. The first thing is the little toast. Then you got to hit select trace. Click on that. The little um, finger thing is going to change to a plus sign. I mean, the little arrow will change to a plus sign. Highlight it. It's going to wait a minute. It's going to turn yellow. You want to make sure all your line is yellow. So to do that, you hit threshold, which is right here to the right. And it, whenever you go into this, it's always going to be at 45. You hit your look. You can move the arrow if you want to. Or you could just, um, the little arrow in there. Or you could hit this arrow to the side and just click until you notice everything is yellow around there and i'm gonna take mine up to about and if you click too much the whole thing is start yellow just hit the minus you know go down and get rid of it because you only want what you need to trace okay and i'm gonna stop it right there then go all the way down you got where it say trace style you're gonna have trace you're gonna have trace outer edge and you're gonna hit and you're gonna have trace and detach what we want to do first is hit trace outer edge. So you click on that. Okay. And if you move this, you're going to have just one single trace. Move that out the way for now. Go back. And we're going to hit trace it. We're going to hit select trace area again. And we're going to highlight because we still need this one right here. Okay. Remember to go over to threshold. It's going to be at 45. Bring it up some to make sure all that you don't see any black inside them yellow lines. Inside the yellow lines, you don't want no black. Okay, that's what you're doing. Now, this time, we're not going to hit trace out of edge because we already got that piece off. Now, we're going to hit the top first one, which is trace. Just click on trace. Okay, then we're going to move this out the way. And there it is. Okay, I always, you already got this saved, so you could just delete it. I like to delete, I don't like a lot of stuff on my area when I'm working, in my area when I'm working, okay? And then I'm just going to move this to the side for right now. And I'm going to bring the first one that we, the outer edge one, I'm going to slide it on my work area, okay? Then next, I'm going to get my, now you're going to go to Google and pick out your background, whatever background you want. You, you, if you don't want to go to pick out a background, you can just color it from in silhouette and make something up. 
or if you want to you just go on here and type what you want and i wanted a black and red background so i typed in red and black or black and red background you click right click it and you copy okay copy and paste or if you need to save it to your computer first save it and then you bring it in you go back to your and you will always hit file and merge don't hit open hit merge go in there find it and bring it in okay which i already have all my stuff hidden behind this blue y'all i didn't want to take all day okay so i got all my pieces right there okay so here go mine this is the color i want mine okay now remember this is the first one that you traced out the outer edge that's the one you want to put your color on all i'm gonna do is try and kind of angle that i really ain't gotta angle it honestly i just gotta make sure it's covering up this whole thing so i'm gonna turn it back and get your little corners and make sure you and all i'm doing is covering up oh i do want to tilt the sun i'm sorry y'all because i want that black to be okay So all I'm doing is making sure everything is covered. Okay, once you do that and you cover everything up, I could have made it smaller, whatever. You want to click and drag or highlight. I always say highlight. Both pieces. Once you got both pieces selected, go to your right, go down, click on open the modif modified panel palette palette i'm sorry panel 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 and you're going to have all these things going to have uh and you want to find chop and you're going to click on chop okay so now there it's in there okay then just get out of there okay now you want to get your other piece no i'm sorry you want to get your image and whenever you bring something in, it's always going to go behind the first image that you already was working on. So just click on it, highlight it, hit bring to the front. So there it is. It's in the front. Place it where you want it at, okay? I want mine to be here. I want it to be a little longer, bigger, whatever. To about there, a little bit up. And about right there, okay? Then I'm going to group these two. I'm going to group, so you right click and group it together. So now they're grouped and I can move them and I can't move him by itself no more, okay? That's just for the image. The words you can always just put in there later, but for your image, you want to make sure you group it with your first piece, okay? Well, that's how I did mine anyway, okay? Then you get your second, which is called your outer layer. This is what's going to go around the outside, okay? So you color it, whichever color you want. And you're going to always go up here. Now, the first one that you see is your color palette. The second one going to have, next to it, going to have a red box. And this is right here, always working this one. Click on the little arrow, and this is for the outline of whatever you're doing. It will just change your outline. It's not going to color in the inside, just the outside. And I want it to be white. Oh, first you got to make sure it's highlighted so it know what you're working with. And I want it to be white. What happened to my red? One minute, y'all. What did I do wrong? I did something wrong right there. Oh, I know what I did. I'm sorry, you don't go to that second one yet. Okay, there we go. Let me bag that up for y'all. Show y'all what I did wrong. 
Okay, it's already red. So you go to your first one and you put whatever color you want, which mine is gonna be white. So don't go to this little red box right here. I'm sorry, I went the wrong place. It's already red. That's your outer line right there, but this is the outer, okay? Next, you bring it over and it's gonna be behind. And I want it to be in front, I think. Yes. Okay. Remember, anytime you bring something over, it's going to go behind. You want it to go front. Right click, hit bring to front. Now, I'm going to highlight both of these. And you could go over here and hit the modify. I think it's, wait. It's the three little um, lines right here. And it's your trans form transform and you want to hit center and hit the second one and it was long as it's highlighted it's going to um center your work for you or you could go up here and just hit this little round circle with an x going in it and it'll center it for you so you could go up here or over here whichever one you like and so it centered it for me okay so if that's how you like it you're fine and if I wanted to move him, which I do, I could just hit ungroup and hit un. No. Oh no! Don't tell me. Okay. So I want to move him a little bit. So I just hit ungroup so I can move him some. Then I think I want this to be bigger. Like I oh, 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 I forgot I ungrouped it, y'all. I forgot I ungrouped it. Group everything. I mean, highlight everything and hit group. And I think I want this to go a little bit bigger. Okay. So I can see see what I'm working with okay that's fine where I got them at like I said you just play with it next you want to get your font that you want which and what I did I typed up his name in the school he went to but I wanted to offset so what you do is once you type it up and if you don't know how to do an offset just let me know or go through my videos and I have something on there how to do an offset. So all you're doing is bringing, putting another one on top of the other one and they're going to be two different colors. And let me make it bigger so you can see. But I'm not going to go into doing an offset right now. That's all I did. Okay. Then I'm... I said I didn't want this video. It seemed like it's being long. And I didn't want that. But, okay, and um, put this, remember when you bring it over, it's always going to go behind. Just right click, right click, <laughs> and bring it to the front. Once you bring it to the front, put it, pos position it where you want it to go. Hit your little handle. Well, I'm hitting my handle because that ain't how I want it to go. I want it to turn some about like that. Yep, and we'll bring ungroup for a minute because I need to move him down so I'm just bringing him down some y'all because I ain't want him his head to be all covered up yeah I want him right there then I'm just going to group this stuff again okay Next, you bring your other things over, and I hit grid, and remember, I keep forgetting, bring it to the front, make it a little bigger, and if you want me to show you how I did that and made it a curve, let me know, I think I got a video already how to do that, I believe I do, if you go through my videos, you will 
you will see. I want that right there. Okay, where's my other stuff? I found this on Google class of 2021. They have a lot of, Google is your best friend because I know they my best friend and YouTube. I love them. Bring to the front. And you just place it where you want it. I want it right here. I want it a little bigger. Grab on your little corner. That's how you large it. Some. And that's how I want that place right there. And I'm done. Oh, no, I'm not. Highlight it. Group it. Then you find your stick. Some people use the wavy stick. Some people use this little straight stick. Hey, I'm just doing this for the video, but I like the wavy one better. Then you just place it. Make sure you know oh, it's already behind, okay? Center it. I think that's about center. Group it. Group it together. And once you group it, it's going to stay. You hit that right there. Make it smaller so I can get back on the paper so you can see what I did. And that's what I did. That's how I made my fan. I just learned it yesterday. It's pretty easy to me. Um, and I'm put a blue background behind it. But you can see it pretty good with the white. I'm just doing this for... Oh, you know what? Before I even did... I just wanted to do that. But before I do that, let me take this stick off. Because, and you see how it's red around here? I'm going to take that red off also. And I'm just going to highlight it. Go to this little red box up here. That's your um, outer line. And hit the little diamond, the first little diamond on the first row where the white and the gray row at. Hit that, and that'll take that red out. The red is just to let the printer or the computer let you know, it's, you know that's what it's going to cut or print. Now... Okay, everything is still grouped. Okay. Now, you could go to do a print and cut. And if you do a print and cut, you go over here to your um, page setup. And you the first one, you're going to see the little white page. Then you're going to see your grid box. Then you're going to see this little black one. Click on the black box, okay? Once you click on that black box, go down, click on. Okay, and once you click on, it's going to show up um, your box and everything going to go around, go around it. And I always like to bring mine, the uh, inset, see how it's big like that? You could hit this inset and you can make it smaller up in here so that you can make your picture wider. I'm going to just turn my picture around for a minute for y'all. Well, you can leave it like that. You can leave it like that. Okay, anything outside this, this black, the little box, and these little right here, it's not going to print. Let me turn this around. It won't print, okay? So once you're in here, you can make it bigger, however big, you, how, whatever size you want, Okay? Remember, if it's outside this black right here, it's not going to work. So I got to bring it in some and bring this over some. Okay. And once you do that, you just go up to sin. And you only want the cut edge sometimes when I'm here I gotta play around with this in which I do because I did slice him up in some pieces to fix him but anyway you only want the outside in red I'm sorry oops Y'all, don't kill me. 
like I said, it's my first time making a video on this and my first time, my second time making the fan. And I didn't, um, I didn't go, I cut it out myself by being on cars. Oh, and it's going to be on car stock. So I didn't even use the, um, print and cut. I didn't use it. So see all this red in here. Now, if I was to hit, okay, all this is going to cut. You don't want that. You only want the outside to cut. I keep touching that, okay? But I didn't did so many slices on him. That's why you're seeing all this right here. But I cut mine out. So I'm going to go back to design. But I just wanted to let you know you can go in here and do a print and cut. But I'm not doing a print and cut on mine. Mine is not a print and I didn't do print and cut because I cut mine out myself. Okay? And another thing, if you want the back to be the same, you click on this. And you right click no hit duplicate duplicate and then you want to reverse this one you want to horizontal this one you want to flip it so when you turn it to the back that would be on the back and this would be on the front okay the back of the fan and the front of the fan and you only could print one at a time you only could print one at a time. So, you don't need to put this. This was just for a display to show you. You don't need that on there. Only thing you're printing out is this right here. And you go up here to your print. I print my stuff in presentation. I think it's presentation. Let me see. Let me make sure. Make sure it's in the right um, paper side. Make sure you're using an 8 by 5 by 11 Make sure you're, um, you're using portrait, if that's what you're using, or landscape. Um, premium presentation paper mat. That's what I use when I print. So that's what you would push on. You know, you should already know how to print. I don't have to go through that. Let me get out of here. So once you print this, you like I said, you want to print it one of these and one of the other so you can put it on the back get you some car stock i believe the car stock that i have down there is 120 i'm not for sure i didn't even check that but use some car stock and if you want it even thicker so it won't be bending just let me show you what i'm gonna do duplicate bring that over there and i just want this to be all see if it do it all black okay and just print out a couple of these and you're gonna glue this on top but that would make your fan thicker so you make about three of them three or four put that on top and then remember this one is gonna go behind it when you bring it out and you just glue it I'm not showing you that part because you could kind of itself explanatory you could do that but this is this would be the extra pieces that's going to go in between your fan so i hope i explained everything um if i didn't leave a comment like i said i only learned this in an hour yesterday and put the video together for you the best that i can so be patient with me don't judge me i'm not the best at making videos but i try to do my vet my best i'd be nervous when i'm on here so I want to apologize for that. But anyway, everyone, have a blessed day. I'm done with the video. Um, hope I didn't miss any steps in it. And please leave a comment below. Hit the like, the like button to let me know how I'm doing. If you want to see, remember to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so you'll be notified the next time I put a video up. And everyone... Let's get out there and let's keep crafting.